right, the moment of truth approaches. Yeah, the moment of truth approaches. And it's working. Hey! This was uh, the area where Beverly was complaining. But tea wasn't happening. Yeah, the gas regulator packed up. It was a little further on than here where we had the world's greatest display of dolphins. Yeah. But um, there's two chimneys. Um, we were parallel to the chimneys when it packed up, weren't we? Yeah. So once I go past the two chimneys, I will be into what I call pastures new. Uh -huh. Places that I've not been before. I'm so excited. Pops that you haven't seen since last week. One's popped up in the porch side. Oh, I put a few degrees to start with. Thank you. But no, uh, this is where the uh, regulator, so it's been. <laughs> but hopefully we will Actually. be moving on and going beyond. I don't know what Barry is doing. Uh, I'm taking his out on the outside of that pot because I've just seen its partner. Oh, okay. And um, we're very grateful for the flags, but there still are a few that don't. Like I can see an orange to... Oh, it's that ugly cruise liner again. <laughs> it's that bug ugly one that was... Because uh, I can see the orange hoist up the side thing sticking up in the air. I don't see why it's coming back here though. Anyway... New load of passengers? No idea. Anyway, um... We've seen a couple of cruise liners because Waterford is obviously the place. Um, the first one looked very nice. That was Swedish. Uh, some some cruise liners have a beautifully raked by. They look sleek. They look designed. This thing here just looked like it's, the water was an inconvenience to shove it out of the way and just lug its way through it. It's a horrible looking thing. <sighs> yeah, block of flats on. Water is Bug the best that Beverly... Fugly was the phrase I came up with. <laughs> it's a yeah. fugly boat. A fugly boat. What a great name. All stations, all stations, all stations. This is Carrington Whistlehead and Ross Air Force Carrington. For a new CRU forecast, this is Carrington Channel 04. Whistlehead Channel 02 and Ross Air Channel 05. I'll set up the 03, which is mine here, which is close here. Small craft warning at Thomas. Northwesterly winds will reach for six at times on Irish coasts from Fairhead to Belfast Rock. Not too much change. Uh, it says that the uh, wind in this area will decrease two to four, mm -hmm. and that's imminent. So that's within the next six hours. Okay. Uh, after that, it goes um, increasing west of Roaches Point, which is at near Cork. So we'll be close to Roaches Point. Um, four knots. But leave it like that because I'm about to serve you your lunch. Oh, Last thing you want is soup going everywhere. Well, I don't know, you might enjoy soup going everywhere. I'd rather swallow it. You don't need to, just leave it where it is. We'll bring it in after we've had something to eat. We're getting there. Calm yourself. Have some tomato soup. And a brown bread butty. Brown bread butty. We still receive emails. And, you can't uh, escape. <laughs> you can't, can you? But this was a pleasant email, wasn't it? It certainly was, because um, so somebody has uh, added to our coffee account. So thank you very, very much, all our supporters who help us do this. Mm. Um, one of the things that uh, I'm looking into at the moment is uh, I'm going to be spending my coffee amount money on uh, a subscription to Navionics 
Uh, basically, what I want to do is, with all the anchorages that we've gone round and places we've been, I want to uh, <coughs> update the charts of Navionics. Uh, because we've been to a couple of anchorages that we've not tried before. Well, so we can go back through our logbooks. Um, yeah, so... Because we, our logbooks keep all the positions of where we anchor. Yeah, so obviously we'll have those in the logbooks. So we'll even be going back to, say, places like Goat Island where we anchored. Mm -hmm. and, um, but just putting them into the chart and updating Navionics. So that means that any of you in who seal these waters will hopefully be able to pick up those descriptions and use them as well. Yeah, so um, I think that's a good use of um, our coffee money. So, uh, like I say, not only is it helping us... Buy, buy coffee. Us buy coffee. We're getting a bit you, low on that, by the way. And, we, and you know that we are coffee drinkers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, <Whoa>. way. <laughs> it helps other sailors, and that's what we like to do. Yeah. I think we're just going to throw this down below decks for a night. Yeah, because I think this is going to be in and out. It's going to be an in and out day for our main. third reef in so that uh, take a bit of the excitement out of the uh, trip. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell we're wussy sailors. <laughs> no, we, we like to be comfortable sailors. I mean, the gusts are getting up to 25, 26 knots and really we shouldn't be going around with like two reefs in the main at that sort of thing. Yeah, so we've uh, dropped two uh, three reefs in the main. I am so glad that our sailing configuration has got this fucking neat. Yeah. I can understand why the previous owners um, put in a, uh, a three reef main rather than a two reef main. Let's According to way. Saturn Seals, this third reef is basically the equivalent to our storm reef. So uh, on <laughs> really, really gusty days like this, we appreciate having it, don't we? Absolutely. I really do. Because um, five knots is fine for us. We're okay with that. Okay. Well, just to uh, fess up, we've just slipped to 4.7. Oh, I'm still fine with Check that. Check out the reef. <laughs> <laughs> Just fluky things, aren't they, Bev? Terribly. So um, we're thinking of shaking that reef out that we put in a little while ago. But there's dolphins about. Yeah. So hopefully we'll get some dolphin action in a bit. But first, we've got to shake that reef Hang out. Hang on, the winds are picking up again. Oh. See what I mean about fluky? Right. We'll leave well enough alone no, for now. No, no. The winds have just picked up. Yeah. Right. Please. Forget that shaking of the reef. <laughs> winds are now over 20 knots. Yeah. We're keeping that reef. reef. <laughs> Stay in there. Cream it, mate. <laughs> There's nothing up there, Gainer. It's not like you're going to hit anything, is it? No.
go can steer herself for a bit. We should be fine. Uh huh. Because high is 2009. Ah, right. Of course, we have the add another. Yes. 2009. So, mm -hmm. um, oh, that's good. So, according to me, um, on Ardmore, which is why we've got it, mm -hmm. um, it's three miles from York. We've got so it another um, 40 minutes from Ardmore. You know, 18 now, 1800. since we thought about shaking out the reef but we finally done it um, purely because the wind was decreasing so the reef's been shaken out <sighs> but while Bubby and I are sailing along <laughs> we're re redesigning Salty Lass as you do now this is only with regard to a locker a couple of lockers and things like that maybe swapping a locker out for shelves but we're just sort of like we put these ideas out there in our heads we talk about them we are terrible talkers but there you go but we just chat about them and then eventually we come up with the final design or the final thing that we want and we go for it but once we know we've got the right solution um we go, we do it, but uh, boy, trust me on this, there is a lot of back and forwards chat before we get anywhere near action. Well, Beverly and I are uh, still sailing and we're clipping along at a, a good old pace. Uh, we're just passing Helvick Head and behind there was uh, is an anchorage and that would have been our first basically first place that we could stop at but we're still sailing well so we've decided to carry on uh, and we're going to go past uh, Minehead in a bit um, that's also one of the places that's on the weather um, that's also one of the places on the weather information so it's good to know where that is and then there's a bay just on the other side which is Ardmore so that's our second port of place that we could go to but we're hoping that we should get into Yorl which is our final destination but as always Beverly and I have plan A, plan B and plan C to Auburn Lass. What a great name for a boat. Anyway, um, we're on the river pontoon. Now that is a pontoon that you can only use overnight uh, because during the day it's used for commercial operations. So you have to go onto one of the mooring balls if you're going to stay here during the day. Now the mooring balls are the big yellow uh, mooring balls, these are the visitor ones, they are free and they're the big yellow ones, they all have pickup buoys but the ones to the north have less tide than the ones to the south. We're here uh, because um, we're going to meet up or at least we hope we're going to meet up with uh, one of our subscribers uh, like I say, if you're a subscriber, then do 
Give us a shout if you know that we're near. More importantly, we're going shopping. We are going shopping because food supply on Salty Lass is pretty thin.